What's up, everybody? Jody J. Summers, Child of the System, better known as Spoken Truth. So this is the fifth set and final set for my live April performances instead of doing the 30 days of writing. This is also a tribute to a dear friend of mine named Stormy with an I, the poet, a.k.a. Paula Blocker. I am going to do something that I haven't done before. In the live video, I was able to show all the illustrations that go along with this movement, that go along with beyond the buttons, beyond the marches, beyond the protests, the six years of my life that I've been doing this. This set is called, I Was There, Social Justice Through Experience. It contains four pieces, dead silence, no justice, no peace, from before I even took my first protest. Silent face in the crowd, which is the process that got me to where I am now. Beat the drum, which is the organization that got me to where I am here right now. And nostalgic information, glamorizing graveyard adventures. So right now what you're going to see is the three illustrations that started it off. Then you'll see me switch a shirt every single time between begin piece and end piece. Now this might be two videos because the original one was 25 minutes long. I am not talking as much. So without further ado, you will see three illustrations and then one illustration for each poem or piece that you are about to hear. So, there's one. You can pause. There's two. You can pause. And here is three. You can pause. So without further ado, we're going to begin each piece. You'll see me say begin piece, end piece, and that is how it's going to go. Thank you to all the people that did essential work during the pandemic. Thank you to everyone revolutionizing the world right now as we know it for future generations. And without further ado, let's have fun. Dead silence, no justice, no peace. Let's begin peace. If you stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. I like this, yes, I like this, and believe this for many years. Until certain things in my life, yes, certain things in my life taught me to skew this image just a bit. If you stand for nothing, everything, yes, everything will change. Certain things that you stand for only make them remain the same. It's not about being a leader or a follower anymore. It's about what change, yes, what change comes about when someone screams your name. Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, Eric Gardner, John Crawford, Ayanna Jones, Sandra Bland, Tamir Rice, Aaron Pope, Ahmad Marsbury, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Rashad Brooks, Emmett Till. Our communities are drowning, flooded of images of being a bad doughbell dancer, a world star, Instagram, Twitter, hip hop, OnlyFans, back page for what? It's like none of the people see the damage they do to the youth growing up. All of the images of needless things to buy, senseless violence, and people, yes, people that have been condemned to die, really seems to be the new form of enslavement.
It's not one specific race or one specific people. It's happening all around. And while you look at your phone, tablet, or latest piece of technology they throw in front of you, you are being taught to forget how to communicate. Yes, communicate with the person right in front of you. We're being raped, yes, raped intellectually, and we don't even care no more. Don't drink the water. Ebola is coming. ISIS and Donald, yes, Donald Trump are at your front door. The school system is in a state of disarray. No art, no music, no books, no sports to play. While legislation rewrites history and calls it fact. Because we have another war to win over the horizon. And I bet you that's a fact. We are taught to believe no new friends. Don't trust them. But find a way to get ahead. Just find a way to get ahead. Just don't do too much. Don't get involved. Don't get active. Teach people how to vote, build, farm, and keep their community safe. Or you'll find yourself left for dead with 47 bullets for four hours or choked, yes, choked, inside your jail cell instead. Hands up, don't shoot, I can't breathe. But I will speak, yes, I will speak until there's no more breath in my lungs to speak, to see my people's minds Bodies and souls, yes, souls released from these evil beasts. In peace. Begin peace. Silent face in the crowd. I, yes, I am an activist. I stand proud with my sign, my pen, my button, my banner, my voice, yes, my voice, and belief that I stand behind. You may find me in the streets, on the corner, or marching, yes, marching with other great minds. We have been called names, spit on, tear gassed, hosed, dogs, yes, dogs sicked on us, beaten, maimed, murdered, and blamed. All because we believe it's our civil duty, yes, our civil duty to speak out for great injustice and point out, yes, point out the ones that f should feel ashamed. Ashamed of the silent, yes, silent murders they commit, poisoning our pipes with lead and filth, killing the environment and feeding us food, yes, feeding us food that never had life in it. Crimes against humanity that make us sick. Bombing women and children. Clear-cutting forests and killing kids. That's killing kids over a bag of Skittles and sip. All so they can become filthy rich. Why do we care, you might ask, as you sit behind your gates counting those blood money stacks? Gain from such great pain while you build yourself up on the backs, yes, the backs of corporate names. Because we are the people, yeah, we are the people who may be the only ones to see through all the lies and hateful, deceitful games, yes, games that you play with our people's hopes and dreams. So we protest, demonstrate, organize, march, and heck, yes fight back. Not for ourselves, but for our children, the planet, and those that have our backs. Because we want a world with more peace, more freedom of speech, not fear, hate, lies, yes, lies, discrimination, manipulation, and deceit. And while you may silence one of us, there are millions, yes, millions more that have seen our fire, heard our desire. Now burn, yes, burn for something more. More than the spoon-fed media truth that you give to them, you spend to them to corrupt their children, yes, their children to no longer defend them. I, yes, I am an activist. 
I stand proud in my resolve, knowing those that came before me, yes, me, strengthen me when I think I might fall. So join the truth, Mahatma Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, Frederick Douglass, Rosa Parks, Carmichael Stokely, Angela Davis, Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, Martin, yes, Martin Luther King Jr. Oh, knew that they might fall, but they did, yes, they did what they did for each, yes, each and every last one of y'all. Hands up, don't shoot, I can't breathe. But I will speak, yes, I will speak until there's no more breath in my lungs to speak, to see my people's minds, bodies, yes, bodies and souls released from these evil beasts in peace. Let's begin. Peace. Beat the drum. So we did it anyway. Without sponsors, without handouts, without corporate, yes, corporate entities. No titles, no sheep leading the blind, no waiting, yes, waiting for permission or asking if it was safe for us to be free. We did it our way. Respecting our elders and learning lessons, just lessons from the footsteps in their wake. Researching copious amounts of literature, absorbing film left by history, and the memories in whitewashed books. We made mistakes, yes, we made mistakes along the way. Taking note every time we failed to reach our community in just the right way. Speaking to people who were not quite ready to hear their voice to change. Putting our lives, reputations, and privacy at risk just to see another soul be safe. We inspired, just yes, inspired generations every time we wouldn't go away. Hands up, don't shoot, I can't breathe. All black lives matter. Yes, all black lives matter. Each and every day. Say their name. Say their name. Say their name. Resist. 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 We watched in horror as verdict after verdict was dismissed. So we took to the streets, flooded the courtrooms, built bridge after bridge Connecting organizations to the people who were told the outrage would just fade away. We took our losses with visible wounds to show the world, yes, to show the world the pain you can live through and still make a difference by standing true. We wanted to change the world, or at least, yes, at least the tent it looked through. So we forced it to look at every shade, shape, size, age, and dream. Because life is life is beautiful, and so are you. We make note of the memories that live in our history and celebrate the culture that brings us closer to our destinies. Individuality must be true within you, but never forget unity also has to be a part of you too. So we did it, yes, we did it anyway. And we plan on doing so, yes, so much more. Because injustice still exists today. And we won't, no, we won't just close our doors, I say, in peace. Let's begin. Peace.
nostalgic information, glamorizing graveyard adventures. Gun clicks. Pow! Don't be so alarmed. It's just the sound. Just it's just the sound of a, another kid dead. Another brown boy laying in the streets by the hands of someone who does not wear a badge, whose skin is melanated to just the right tint to where this, yes, this is no longer a crime. This story will never see the news except to dig up old wounds and remind you, yes, remind you of all the reasons they deserve to die. It's just gang violence. <laughs> it's just the result of the life they chose. It's not a reflection on our community. There are no invisible walls connected to the gold chain track music and influence that we feed you as we rape your mind, steal your childhood, erase your history, and convince you, yes, convince you that living on assistance, yes, living on assistance is the quickest way to get out. As the links to our think tank keep erasing your unity, one platinum drug tested epidemic, yes, epidemic, stream through our children's eyes, one flat line at a time. But I thought you should know, his name was Tyrone. He leaves three kids, yes, three kids at home and died without a dime. Gun clicks, pow! No need to grab your signs, protest in the streets, or write your congressman a hateful letter. It's just the sound, yes, it's just the sound of another kid dead. Another young woman lost to the streets who was molested as a child by pastors, teachers, and trusted family members. So she left home trying to survive, and although she was young, she had already gone numb deciding this, yes, this is how she would survive. She did pretty well and managed to scrape by until someone viewed her, yes, viewed her as a prize. A money-making scheme to get rich quick. And when she decided it was time to get ghost quick, they ditched her quick. One shot to the gut and a twist of the neck left in a dumpster for three weeks to set. Her family had no clue. They were all too busy trying to hide the shame they felt. <laughs> the truth coming out, they all knew. So her case sits in a stack of unsolved murders. Jane Doe with the description torn out. Bars, yes, bars, clink, pow. Unless you go to where lost children, yes, lost children become lost souls. You will never know, yes, you will never know how deep the extermination goes. But it's just another kid dead. The last sound they'll hear before joining the company of their peers who were told they were never good enough. Grades were no good. Too hyperactive. They might have played sports. The teachers read from books. No sense of structure. Just fall in line. Your creativity, yes, your creativity can only fit on this dotted line. So the system passed them by. Determined by the third grade, the resting place they shall stay if the curriculum doesn't fit their age. Now it's prison guards just three strikes away. Or one if you multiply just the right way. In their teens they will sit until there's no, yes, no childhood left, making all the amenities freedom gets the free with money to split. A new shiny workforce at just 10 cents a day. And when they're released back onto the streets with a criminal record, <laughs> and no way out but the streets, yes, the streets to pay their way, the bars, yes, the bars become their church bells. They'll ring to their graves. But don't shed a tear. 
These statistics were just born out of fear. So it's time to come out of the dark and speak light to your loved ones while they still have ears, yes, ears that hear the right way. In peace. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for participating live. I hope you heard my words. Stormy, I hope you heard my words. Much love. Y'all be safe out there. I'll see you in my timelines. And uh, you know as it is, thumbs until the next episode.